You're a real pretty girl. Don't touch me, you sadistic motherfucker! <laughs> Mother's Day is a little-known 1980 horror film that has gained somewhat of a cult following among horror fans in the decades since its release. The film follows a group of three women who were all friends in college in 1970. Now ten years have passed, and they are all living separate lives. Trina, played by Tiana Pierce, a glamorous model living in Los Angeles, Abby, played by Nancy Hendrickson, who lives in Chicago and cares for her ailing mother, and Jackie, played by Deborah Lucy, who lives in New York City. All three meet in New Jersey for an annual mystery weekend trip, where one plans a getaway in a location unknown by the other two. For this year's getaway, Jackie has planned a camping trip to the Deep Barrens, a forested woody area in rural New Jersey. While stopping for supplies at a small store, a shopkeeper warns them not to go into the Deep Barrens. You get what you deserve in them Deep Barrens, you lesbians? You won't be causing no one, no trouble, no more! The girls arrive at the site and set up camp. They go swimming, they go fishing and catch a trout and they lay in sleeping bags roasting marshmallows in panties. And they reminisce about their college days. Once a year, no matter what, we drop everything and get together for our little mystery weekend together. Aren't we getting a little too old for it? You wouldn't really think of not showing up one year, would you? I mean, sometimes I think that these weekends are the only thing that keeps me sane from one year to the next. Suddenly, they find themselves kidnapped by two crazy backwoods brothers, Ike, played by Gary Pollard, and Adley, played by Michael McCleary. The two take the three women to their old ramshackle home in the middle of the woods where they live with their crazy, unhinged old mother, played by actress Beatrice Pons. They try to impress their mother by kidnapping random people and torturing those people in front of her. All right, Ike and Adley. Now let's see what you brought, Mother. The girls have to do their best to try and escape and survive the insane onslaught of the brutal, psychotic family. Directed by Charles Kaufman, brother of Troma Entertainment co-founder Lloyd Kaufman, this movie had a very limited theatrical release in New York City on September 19, 1980, and then spreading across various American cities throughout the fall of that year. We'd like to show you the scene with the machete, but we can't. We'd love to show you the scene with the choker, the axe, the electric knife, but we can't. The box office gross was very minimal, but the movie only cost $115,000 to make. Critics were instantly appalled by the acts of violence towards women in the film, in particular scenes of violent perversion. Roger Ebert despised the film, giving it zero stars. Why do people make movies like this? Why do people go to see them? I don't know. Mother's Day is a reprehensible exercise in depravity, and it stinks. The United Kingdom banned the film in 1980, and it would stay banned there for over 35 years. Presumably, the movie is still banned in Australia. It was also banned in West Germany, and the reels were confiscated by West German authorities. The movie was released in the United States unrated because the MPAA never screened the movie at all. The producers didn't care if it received an R rating or an X rating, but they didn't want to spend any of their limited funds to go through the whole MPAA review process. I have little doubt that this would have received an X rating. It is very graphic. No one can escape on Mother's Day because Mother's Day never ends. Filmed in New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut from September 1979 to January 1980, the old house used in the movie was in the woods of Newton, New Jersey. Nobody had occupied the house for 15 years prior to filming, and the rumor was that the previous owner had been murdered inside the house. The lake in the movie is Fairview Lake in Stillwater, New Jersey. 
just across that lake, another 1980 horror movie was being filmed at the same time, Friday the 13th. Beatrice Pons, best known for her role on the 1950s series The Phil Silvers Show and the 1960s TV series Car 54, Where Are You?, was billed in this movie as Rose Ross because her membership in the Screen Actors Guild prohibited her from appearing in non-union movies. This film has slowly built up a cult following throughout the decades since its release, and there was even a loose remake in 2010 produced by Brett Ratner and starring actress Rebecca De Mornay as the mother. The remake, along with 1980s horror nostalgia, has led to this film gaining more and more of a following, in particular with 1980s horror aficionados. <laughs> Darlings, you have made your mother very proud. Because of the cult following this film has as a 1980s horror flick, I'll give it 5 out of 10 stars, and I recommend it to any slasher movie enthusiasts. If they're into that, they should see Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs>